Today we will explore the question, what is an ecosystem? After watching an awesome movie on Brain Pop about ecosystems, we used the Make a Map to help us organize our thoughts. We determined that an ecosystem is made up of living and non-living organisms interacting with each other and their environment. Ecosystems are classified by a few things the intensity and the amount of sunshine the area gets, the rainfall and water, and the mineral in the soil. Inside the ecosystem, there are communities as well as habitats. A community refers to all of the population in a specific area at one particular time, and the structure of the community involves many types of interactions among the species that live there. For example, here we have a desert rat, an owl, scorpion, and cactus. I bet you the owl would love to get its talons inside that desert rat to eat. A population covers all the individuals of a given species in an area at a certain time. For example, here you see a population of scorpions. Habitat is a site where an organism or group lives. It may be anything from, let's say, a stone in a lake where algae grows to a forest containing all sorts of creatures. Habitats don't need to be of the same species. Desert. Let's look at an example of two different ecosystems with similar species living in there. If you look at the Asian elephant, and the African elephant, you'd think they were a lot alike. However, since they live in entirely different ecosystems, they're actually very different. And these differences are important to their survival in their own ecosystem. So here the Asian elephant is slightly smaller than its cousin, the African elephant. Their skin is smoother. The, ele the African elephant has rougher skin. The Asian elephant has small ears, and the African elephant has larger ears. There's a reason for this. The African elephant lives in Africa where the sun intensity is much hotter, and they need these large ears to circulate cool air and blood throughout their system. The Asian elephant has small ears, and it doesn't need to be cooled off as much as the African elephant because they live in the rainforest of Asia. So the Asian elephant versus the African elephant, a lot of differences. Their teeth are different. Even the tips of their trunks are different. Their tusks, the Asian elephant, both species, male and female, have tusks, whereas the African elephant, only the male has the tusks. Because they live in different ecosystems, in different communities, which breaks down into different habitats, they eat different things. Both of them eat grasses, fruit, and bark. However, the Asian elephant eats more tree material. And because they eat more tree material, the grooves in their teeth are much closer together. And that's to grind all that bark up. The African elephant is mostly a grass eater. So the grooves in their teeth are much further apart. They don't need to eat and grind up that tough, rough material. Here's a baby Asian elephant. Notice that all the hair on top of the baby's head, when we look at the baby of the African elephant, you'll notice that they don't have as much hair. Here is another Asian elephant. This one's probably not quite full grown, but you can see the dense forest in here. And there's another example of Asian elephants and their differences. Here is a sample of their ecosystem. Notice the fog, rain, dense forest. And this is also in Asia in the rainforest. It's very wet, it's cool. Here's our African elephant. The African elephant is taller. Notice that this is the male, it has two tusks. They eat the grasses. They weigh a lot more than the Asian elephant does. And here is your African elephant out in the savanna, eating its grasses. Notice the large ears. Again, this is a male elephant because it has tusks and the females don't. Here he is trying to get some tree branches. 
they don't usually eat trees, but if they're if they think they can reach it, they'll eat them. Now here's the baby African elephant. You'll notice that they don't have a lot of hair on them when they're born. Both elephants when they're born though, the Asian and the African, weigh about 250 pounds at birth. There's the ecosystem. This is where they share with other species. Zebra, lion, cheetahs, giraffes. So as you can see, even though these two species are very much alike, their differences are important for their survival in their own ecosystem. Their tusks, their trunk, their teeth, and even their skin are their own special way of adapting to where they live. One is in Asia and one is in Africa, and they're very different ecosystems. If you want to learn more, there's more movies on elephants and brain pop. Look it up, do some research. I'm sure you'll find it fascinating. And that is a wrap.